Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the first grade concept of counting, specifically how we can count forward and backward from any number using the 100 chart and not using the 100 chart, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we're going to start with just a random number, 17. And a lot of times when we're counting in first grade, we like to start at 1 and we go all the way up and see how high we can go. But sometimes we need to be able to start at a number in the middle of the 100 chart. So if we wanted to count backwards starting from 17, let's look at the 100 chart. When we're counting backward, that means we're going to the left. And what's happening is our ones digit is getting smaller. So you notice in 17 that the tens digit is one, and that's gonna stay the same all along this row right here. It's gonna be one, but it's that, ten, that ones digit that counts backwards by one. So we've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But instead of saying seven, six, five, and so on, we're gonna say 17 because we're gonna use that, that phrase team at the end of the number to let me know we're in the teens here. So 17 and then 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. But then notice that when we're done with the teens, when we've at the ones place at a one, we have to move up and we go back to the end of the row. And so we go to 10, and this is where we know what these are, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And so when we are moving forward, when we're starting at a number like 17 and counting forward, well, we're going to start in the same spot, but we're going to move to the right. And our one digit is going to go up by ones. So 7, 8, 9, 0. So 17, 18, 19, and then 20, and you notice that the tens digit finally changes. Instead of a one, it's now a two, and we are gonna go down a row and go all the way back to the left. So we go to the next row that has the two in the tens place, and you notice all along this row we have two in the tens place. And so the two is gonna stay in the tens place because it's the twenties, and we are just gonna count our ones digit up by ones. 21, 22, 23, 24, and so on. Let's look at another number, 86. And so when we start with 86 and we want to move backwards, remember we're going to keep our 8 in the tens digit, and we're just going to move that ones digit down by ones until we get to 0. So 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. Come back up this row right here, 80. So 80 is just an 8 and a 0. Once we hit that 0, our tens digit changes down 1. So instead of an 8, it's a 7. And then we start again, 79, 78, 77, 76, so on and so forth. If we're moving up. Remember, our tens digit stays the same, and it's our ones digit that changes. 87, 88, 89. Well, once we're past 9, we have to change that tens digit from an 8 up to a 9, and now we have 90, and then we come down, go to the beginning of the row, and we move our 1's digit by 1's, 91, 92, 93, 94, so on and so forth. Let's see if we can do it without a 100 chart. So let's start with a number 53. If we wanted to count backwards, remember that we're going to keep our 10's digit the same, until our ones digit gets down to zero. So we're gonna say 53, and then we'll count 52, 51, and then once we hit 50, now we can't make our ones digit any smaller, so we need to bring our tens digit down one. Instead of fives, we're gonna make it four. Now our ones digit gets as big as it can, 49, 48, 47, 46, so on and so forth. Same thing with moving up. We're going to keep our tens digit the same, but instead of making the ones digit smaller, we're going to make it a little bit bigger until we can't make it any larger. Nine is the largest that we can make our ones digits. We're going to count up 56, 57, 58, 59, and then once we hit that 59, we're going to move our tens digit up one and bring the ones digit down to zero. 60, 61, and so on and so forth. 